Oh, let's look around here. Oh, that's a nice looking store. Also, ooh, I found a lucky emblem. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sora, a lucky emblem. <laughs> look at all the different things in the window of the shop. Ah, oh, that's Windbanks, the pawnbrokery. Looks much smarter than a pawnbroker's in Japan, doesn't it? Yes, you're right. I find pawn shops at home rather inapproachable personally. Reminds me of tearfully parting with my favorite fountain pen. I felt so miserable. What doesn't kill us makes us stronger, Mr. Hodo. Alright, what do you want? You want a, Wait, you want can, a jog? You want some kings? Right. Sorry, what? We can look to the right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was just gonna look at the. I didn't, I didn't notice that arrow. Do you want like a, a, a jog? Do you want a kettle? Do you want some, some canes? A that is a dancing person by the door. Oh, yeah, right by there. The yeah. 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 Some clocks, necklaces. Some nice stuff. Wait, actually. is that a Mambo Shoujo uh, a oh. sailor outfit? <laughs> 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 hey, um, Susato. Um. <laughs> Alright, and this is too deep oh. here. It's just a few, yeah. a few steps away. It's already been two months since we started taking lodgings here above Mr. Shrimps' office. Very inclined building. <laughs> I think that's just the angle. Still can't quite believe it. I never expected things would turn out like this. Oh, I know! To actually be sharing accommodation with the world's greatest detective. If I ever find myself before a court of law now, I will have not one to regret. But not one regret. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'd be happy to defend you, of course. Oh, don't make me do that. That's that's another Hello. thing that hasn't that hasn't happened yet. That's our assistant being on, on trial. What is the what probably happened is that they can you go to the left again? Yep. No, because the you can see that the, the curve is actually really straight on the building by the side of the pawnbroker like it's a very straight oh yeah you're thing. right you're so right yeah you're right I thought what would happen is that they drew the whole thing using yeah. a perspective ruler so that they have the whole block but no because that part is so straight then yeah the baker street building yeah is if, just if you look at if you this this line here inclined. in particular this line here in particular yeah, it's very inclined it's very inclined yeah you're right huh right is that everything here I'm, I'm, I'm a little paranoid now because of that a woman achievement. So maybe I'm going to get more achievements for investigating certain maybe things. Maybe this place will have another interaction with Oh, people. yeah, probably. Probably. This is this is just like one of those screens where like something's going to happen. It's like yeah, once or twice. This feels like a checkup's gone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, move. Let's go. My palm workers travel on Baker Street. Mr. Trump says a regular scene. It's, it's Popeye or Farquaad that works here. Or maybe a new character, character entirely. Let's see. Alright. He's a thinker. <laughs> no. Oh, no. oh my god, Pinocchio. Help. <laughs> uh, father, when can I leave to be on my own? <laughs> well, fancy seeing Yoya after two months. <laughs> Hello? I wonder how many reference to Ace Attorney. I mean, the thinker for one. Yeah, the thinker. I wonder if the hat is something. Uh. Man. Eh. There's so many things. I can, only, I can only see the thinker. <laughs> it's like the one yeah, thing that draws me. Like, oh All no. Right. Right, so, this is the British palm brokery. Doesn't look as messy as I'd imagine. Oh my, there's all sorts of tools and contraptions in here that I'd never laid eyes on before. Ah, this is how that spark of wonder in your eyes. You can't wait to scour the shelves, can you? I get the impression you enjoy places like this. Oh yes, and I don't know why, but seeing such a lot of things I don't understand is a real thrill for me. She's just curious. Oh, he got dressed? My dear fellows, well, I don't forget why you're here. There is a sign that says Percy something. Percy uh, Bar Bakery. Percy Bakery. Barley? Is it is it bakery? Bakery? Yeah, it could be bakery. It, it yeah. could be. It could be either. Ba yeah, it could. No, that, that looks like bakery. It, it's tough to see here because my there is such a there is a it's very light today, so I cannot see the darker oh, part. Oh, that's that's also like for me. That's very in the shadow. So, person, I can we make can, out fine. We, but... we can zoom in and enhance. Yeah, the probably. <laughs> zoom in and enhance cliche. 
Oh, Mr. Shomes. We're calling meta business, not pleasure. And clearly, Mr. Shomes means business, means business too, judging from the spark of fury in his eyes. <laughs> he just boops. <laughs> this is sad. <laughs> oh, well. Oh. Grossberg, is that you? <laughs> oh, Mr. Shomes, sir. Welcome back. <laughs> Did you hear the brazen welcome? Brazen, really? Oh, well, yes, we have potential customers after all. We are disgruntled customers, Mrs. Naruhodo. And it's time to inform Mr. Windebank of our area. Come! The fight is afoot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Karen. <laughs> Wait, okay, okay, examine. First of all. I'm a lawyer! There's a doggle picture here, look. Ah! Looks like a cute little labyrinth. Labrador, yeah, maybe. Oh, I, what the I'm not. What are you a, doing, my dear fellow? I'm not allowed. We're not here to browse for interesting curios. We have to come to teach this broker a lesson. Oh, but there are just so many fascinating items. Looks as though we'll have to talk to Mr. Winniebank first before he can explore in here, Mr. Sadomo. Let's see another thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, fine. Let's talk to him. What about violin. the... Yeah, violin, there we go. Let's just talk about the place first. Yeah, well, hi. <laughs> Naturally, you will recall this, which I retrieved from you some days ago. Yes. The second brain fiddle is not my faithful instrument, Mr. Windbank. The color of the wood is different. It has holes in it. It's not even the same size. A wonderful summary of our observations, Mr. Shelmes. <laughs> I'm so very sorry, sir. How utterly unforgivable of me and an inexcusable mistake for a pawnbroker. There's only one way to make amends. <laughs> runs away. Whoa, what, what? No, what the way? What? Boy. In the name of fuck? That is an ever extreme reaction to something like that. Boy, that escalated quickly. Do a flip. I don't think that would be necessary. Do you? Maybe I just say one thing before I pop off. Uh, yes? It was you, sir, Mr. Sholmes, who took it upon himself to remove the item the other day, I believe. Sorry? Why did you not tell me then? As I recall, I entered the storm to fetch your violin when I heard. Well, oh, here it is. You did? And when I turned to convert you, contr controvert you, you had to convert to PDF. <laughs> you had taken the violin and then left, sir. However, there can be no doubt that the blame lies firmly in my own door for allowing you to leave. So I shall not grumble or grouse any longer. Shh. May this kill die with me. <laughs> to the door. No, 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 no. Stop, dear fellow. Fault is mine. Phew. It would appear that it, the fight is over. What in the god name of fuck just happened? I do humbly apologize, Mr. Winniebank. Evidently, my questionable disposition precipitated this tragedy. <laughs> well, you wouldn't be Mr. Herlock Sholmes without that g questionable disposition, now, would you? <laughs> I do believe you may be quite right, sir. I do believe you may be right, sir. <laughs> okay, it's it better. It was, yeah, it was better this time, but the, the thing is, the laugh just keeps getting cut. I don't know why. The, the laugh. <laughs> <Yeah. is, laughs> uh, it's better now. It, it is better now, yeah. I just put all the way to the left. Oh, yeah, that's true. That should be good now. It's either laugh or cry, I suppose. You are, it must be said, one of my more challenging customers. 
I need to remind you of the peculiar collection of items you've brought through my door in the past. Oh? Peculiar items? Do tell. In the extreme, ma'am. For example... The unpublished manuscript of an eponymous work. The novels of Herlock Holmes or some such. Oh my, a new full-fledged novel? An unpublished? A story I have yet to read, you mean? Ah! Forgive me! Wait, before you die, you must tell me more! Hold on. Just a second. Sure, what about the story? I must know more. Tell me everything! Wow, so Sato is really fired up now. Is, is there really an unpublished story under this very roof? Well, one day the gentleman he brought in, in an old metal chest, you see. I should like to entrust this to your cat for a while, Mr. Winterbank. Hmm, for a chest like that, one shilling, sir. Not a farthing more. The house is something of very great value indeed. The latest manuscript recounting the adventures of one Mr. Herlock Holmes. And who is that now? I beg your pardon, a manuscript? You wish to deposit a manuscript? Indeed I do. Very confident you will be quite safe here. And that was that. As such, Mr. Shum's latest tale of otherworldly mystery lies dormant in my storeroom. Mr. Shum, is that really true? I forgot. <laughs> do I sense that someone doesn't want to talk about this? I continue to pay your fee, do I not? And kindly continue to store my belongings securely. Just using an extra storeroom. <laughs> of course, sir, of course, sir. They're safe and sound with me, I assure you. Not my life. This is all very strange. Ace Attorney is not... Ace Attorney does not... <laughs> I'm just... Why so many people have so poor trigger discipline? Honestly, really. He gets to a point where he's actually like... I... I, to... I, I wonder if he's going to be a victim. I wonder, can I ask you something? Ah, oh, gentleman from the East, I see. Yes, that sable suit. I suppose I could offer you expense for it. Without wishing to offend, the tone is somewhat dull. Sorry. Aha, but for your splendid attire, for your splendid attire, ma'am, five guineas, no less. The colors are exquisite, the design exotic, Eastern artistry at its finest, may I say. Oh my, five guineas, you say? Yeah, undress right now. What? How no. interesting. Or any bonk. <laughs> Why do I feel as though I've suffered some sort of defeat here? She can, she can wear that sailor costume. Actually, I was hoping to ask about your business. I've heard it said that pawnbrokers are used rather like banks here in London. Yes, indeed. Many of my customers utilize the establishment as you describe. I praise their items and offer them a proportionate loan and two months of secure stowage. If in that time they repay the original sum to me plus the agreed interest, the items are happily returned. But what happens if they don't pay you the money? Then the items are offered for sale in my shop, as you can see on the shelves behind me. So you never sell items before two months has passed then? That's right, ma'am, that's right. Which means some considerable responsibility rests on my shoulders. Should a customer's precious belongings be lost, the only recompense for me is to end it all. Her idea, Mr. Windebank, is an absurdity. One should never talk of one's demise so casually. <laughs> Says the man who was selling us. I was about about to was say. only this morning, yeah, exactly. Let us not forget that I have already helped you take measures to ensure that a tragedy never occurs. Oh, what sort of measures? I engineer a simple device, which Mr. Windebank has installed here in the shop. Is it a security camera? I call it the Red-Handed Recorder. So an anti-theft thing? Is that not so, Mr. Windebank? Oh. <sighs> What was that deep sigh about? Tell me. 
What on earth is a red-handed recorder? Use the eyes, my dear fellow. There are two just below the ceiling. Huh. I can see when a piece of the camera attached to some sort of timing device. I that's gonna be important, isn't it? I mean, it is a picture. It's probably gonna make or break the case. Very <laughs> suit. That's this is like yeah, security camera footage, right? With a timestamp. Yeah. It is indeed a camera, furnished with some hundred pieces of celluloid film. Okay. And every thirty minutes, precisely, the camera automatically records the appearance of the shot. Here, I have an example I can show you. We're gonna go to the Four a.m. Oh God, no! Help! <laughs> Help! Okay, so we have three books: the scale, two candle pieces, doggo, a toy, a doll, a picture of a snowman or something behind uh, the door. I think there's a cat on there too. I wasn't expecting to play him on observation duty today. <laughs> that's a the horror point uh, and click now. Ah, uh, yes, a print from the camera set to record the activity at the shop counter. I develop a special type of film so sensitive it produces a crystal clear image even in darkness. <laughs> Night vision cameras. Really? That's extraordinary. Yes, you can clearly see the counter and door behind it. Look. But you see, for someone to enter the premises with ill intent, his identity will be summarily exposed as long as he is in the counter. It, n well, no, as long as he... The, th the thing is, like, it only records pictures every 30 minutes, right? So you have, like, a 30-minute dead zone. You'd only notice that things are different. You don't know who did it, so, right? as long as they are by the counter, as long as it takes a picture at the 30-minute mark. Yeah, exactly. As long as they are at the counter or at the door within, like, half an hour of an hour. Like, like, like within 30 minutes of a given hour. Right? So, nah. Not the most secure thing, but it works, I suppose. I mean, at least you know you'd notice if something was different. But did you not say the photographic prints were taken at thirty-minute intervals? Indeed, as you say, my dear ma'am. Then what if the incident were to occur in between times? One could only say. That would be a cool to tough <laughs> shit. <laughs> tough shit. <laughs> oh, did that happen? I must confess, your devices have been giving me some cause for distress. Some cause for distress of late. I beg your pardon, Mr. Wittenberg. Surely they are anything but distressing. Your shadowing is the war. Mm -hmm. It's the cost of the film, sir. Yeah, I, yeah that's, what, that's what I thought. That much for a furry picture. You most graciously placed not one but two cameras in my shop after all. Which means I must pay for nigh on 100 utterly useless prints every single day. I'm afraid the cost of the film will break me before I am very much older. Nevertheless, a small price to pay to ensure the safety of my preferred palm brokery, no? Tough shit. <laughs> My dear fellows, with version and age for safety and security come at a price. Oh, heaven help us. Uh, now then, Mr. Sholmes, allow me to return your precious violin. Oh, look, it does have a different color. <laughs> oh, the very thing. Thank you, Mr. Wingbank. Perhaps this might mark the end of, my, of the peculiar items. Do you try to pop them? Because if anything were to happen to one of them, Who's this gone? would be the only answer. Um, I really think you ought to stop waving that gun around. Someone could get hurt. Fear not. It's not loaded. It's a lighter. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've only loaded a single bullet. So now no one but myself could possibly be harmed. Oh, a single bullet is going to be... Are we going to have a body with two bullets? That's not really what I meant. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. There is so much, like... I uh, don't like where this is going. Foreshadowing. Yeah. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. <laughs> Good day to you, Mr. Windebank. It's been a pleasure as always, Mr. Sholmes. 
still Mr. Naruto. Time to look around. No, we can explore at last. <laughs> Heck yeah, let's browse. I All wonder right. if the thinker is going to Yeah, look be at the thinker first. There we go. What an assortment of things there are on these shelves here. Crockery, footwear, clocks, and watches. Almost anything you care to imagine. Those are forfeited items offered for sale by the pawnbroker. What does that really mean, though? When you pawn, or colloquially pop an item, the broker loads you, lo loans you money against its worth. He stores the item from an agreed period of time after which the loan must be repaid. If not, oh, shit. he's free to display in the shop for sale at a price for his choosing. Tough shit. Oh, yes, not, not, now you've explained it, I'm noticing little price tags on everything. Of course. Simply by paying the agreed interest in the, on the loan, one can extend the period of safekeeping. So you may pound that black garb of yours without fear, my dear fellow. I don't intend to. My treasured university uniform? Never! It embodies my student spirit. Oh, well, there is a Maho Shoujo costume. Mm, yeah. Really? Nothing on the, the, oh, the man. statue? Oh, man. I'm disappointed. Is it a clock, actually? It's, it, no. <laughs> it's just a statue. Wait, wait, when was the thinker uh, sculpted? Well, the actual statue? I have no idea. The thinker statue, when was it made? 1904. Oh. That will be after this, right? Because this takes place in 1900? Interesting. I mean... Oh. Interesting. Oh, look. Well, that picture is definitely missing from the from the counter. Oh, yeah, the snowman picture. Yeah. I think there was a cat on there. Look at that enormous ledger on the counter there. Mr. Windman is, if nothing else, very particular about the recording the items he accepts. He'd have to be, otherwise he'd get himself into all sorts of trouble. Which might explain the thing that catches Maya far more than the ledger. The gun. <laughs> uh huh. This revolver here. Do not entertain even a single thought of pilfering an article herein, my dear fellow. Hmm? I assure you, Mr. Windebank will not hesitate to draw that weapon with a speed battling this portly sight. Be lying. Be lying his portly sight. Be lying his portly sight. <laughs> Oh, he's really fast, but he's also he... fat. Blow his brains out? Indeed. In recompense for his blunder. Okay. Oh my. But in any case, of course we would never do such a thing. How could you even suggest it? Because someone's looking hella sus all the time. So the picture is not in our inventory, is it? No, I don't think. No, okay. Pinocchio? No. What is this box? Is that a radio? It could be one of those like moving things where you like where there's like a drum in there with and you just, like look into those two I don't know. Oh it could be one of the yeah like those uh... movie thingies, apparatus, whatever's I do you suppose this enormous machine does. It Seems to have two little windows for looking through. Allow me to enlighten you, my dear fellows. What are you looking about is a serious call. Serious call, yeah, that's the word. A serious fascinating. It is aptly named, I assure you. Look through the eyepieces and see for yourself. I was just gonna be puzzled too. Oh, I should be delighted to excuse me a moment while I just have I why just have a look. Just before you do, there is something I should point out. My dear fellows, in order to see the image properly, stereo stereoscopically, as it were, you will need to be cross-eyed. Huh. However, if that is beyond you, it is of little consequence today. Alright then, I'm going to try. I thought we were going to see Sasato cross eye. <laughs> ah! Mr. Naruto, you must see at once. Oh, 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 all right then. 
So I need to be cross-eyed, like I'm trying to look at my own nose. Alright, let's do it. Whoa. Wait a minute. Let me let me just oh. Okay. Huh, interesting. What the I have the same thing actually. I don't believe it. A handheld version. It's just a photographic print, but it, it seems like you'd, you, could, you could reach out and touch it. Yes, the sense of death is startling, is it not? Stereoscopes of one of London's many fads. They are often found in little stalls in the park. People queue for hours to see them. Really? Why, why, why are people meddling with such black magic? It is no magic, my dear man. It's, well... Science! Far too complicated to explain at present. <laughs> we shall have this. We shall save this lesson for another day. You don't know how it works, do you? Oh. Um. Uh, is that a trigger plate? <laughs> Look at this. Whatever could it be used for? Uh. Uh. I have no idea. Huh. Well. There's a small catch just here, look. We're going to open it, aren't we? What? Oh my, that's amazing! It has some sort of spring loaded mechanism. Which we'll never manage to put back to the way it was before. Hmm? What are you doing? What? Us? N nothing. No, 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 nothing at all. Whatever this device is, it seems to have a pair of little windows to look through. I just know I've seen something rather similar to this elsewhere. Is it another stereoscope? Just a handheld one this time? Is that it? That can't be it. We have so many, like, foreshadowing shit. <laughs> yeah! Look at the calendar here. Well, that's not a calendar you could easily miss, is it? 15th April. Today's date. Yes, that's not for sale, I must point out. It's an Eastern style page day calendar. Every night at midnight, I tear off the front page to reveal the following day's date. I have a calendar for a terrorist fellow such as yourself, Mr. Windbank. And who was it who walked out of here with the wrong violin before? Well, when the agreed storage period has passed without repayment, articles are forfeited, you see. So I have to keep a close eye on the date. It's something of a pawnbroker's obsession, you might say. one of the pictures is gonna show and the date is gonna be different. Yeah, exactly. How old is Winnebank, by the way? 48. 48. Okay. Oh yes, I can see you're very dedicated to your job. <laughs> He'd shoot himself over it, so yeah. Okay. Is that everything? Can we see the else? sign? Nothing. Damn. So Is probably the clocks now. What? what was that? The clocks. No, the, look. Oh. Under the door? The exit. <laughs> oh, the... Three globes of gold. Is that some sort of charm? Yeah, me. Have you not seen the sign before? No, never. The three golden balls are, in Greek written at least, the universal sign of a palm brokery. There are more than 700 such establishments in the capital, all showing the same sign. Oh, I see. I had not imagined your ignorance was so profound. Oh, well, what is the significance of the three golden balls then? Does it have some special meaning? I don't know. <laughs> that is entirely unimportant here, dear man. Irrelevant, even. Yeah, he doesn't know. You mean you don't know? Right, is that it now? Or this side, at least. Yeah, it looks like. Cloaks, no. Down here, no. Not even the, the red one? Oh, you're right. There we go. I was like, that looks interesting. <laughs> Look at this. What could this lovely big shiny box be? That, my dear man, is a music box. 
surely you have such things in your own country. Oh my! Yes, but I've never certainly seen one so large before. Shall we listen in a while? Oh, what's it gonna play? Are we gonna change the background music? Oh, what a sublime sound. It's like the music of angels. I've never heard anything like it before in my life. This particular specimen is of the larger variety, commonly found in public houses and restaurants. There is a metal disc inside in which the notes to be played are recorded. Simply by replacing the disc with another, any music you care to imagine can be played. My goodness! What a simply delightful machine! Indeed! Though well, the popularity has waned recently with the development of the gramophone, of course. Mm-hmm. Ah. Science and technology advance at such an overwhelming pace. <laughs> what? Only tuppence for that, ain't fair, you know it. The article here is barely worth a penny, miss. I cannot offer more. Uh, that's a different character. What's going on out there? Sounds like there's an argument brewing over there by the counter. By the counter? Come on, that can't be right. Have you even had proper butchers at it? Oh, oh, is that... Is that her? Is it, it is her. I've seen oh. all I need to see, young girl. Oh. Hello there, Gina. Wait, don't we know... I'm sure I recognize her. Oh, yes, it's the young lady. From, from the McGillis? From, from, from McGillis trial two months ago. Flashback. Huh. Her name is the oldest child, my lord. She's a chancer. Hands across the amongst larger, larger crowds, relieving people of their purses. What's commonly called a pickpocket. He kills the judge. <laughs> Gordon Bennett, you lot! <laughs> Don't you dare! Hello, Wait, Mr. Strad. I hope did, you've been didn't, well. Didn't she bring her gun back? She just stole it again? I, I, I guess Iris let her keep it? Iris had the bigger gun by the end of the trial. Yeah, I guess I, I guess Iris let her keep it. Hey, what? You remember we didn't do ya? Well, I remember being completely surrounded by smoke, that's for sure. So, what are you doing in here? Town and I like the rest of us. Nothing to eat. Come to pop that black weasel. Sorry, coat, have ya? What is it about this black uniform that makes everyone comment on it? Ah, good day. Unless I'm much mistaken. You wouldn't be the young pickpocket who stole an experimental smoke grenade launcher. Ah, uh, Mr. Sholmes. So, you have something of orange upon, do you? Offer me to see the article, and I shall negotiate with Mr. Windbank on your behalf. Pull the other one, I don't need help from some stuck-up D. Get out of me business. Go on, or I'll make trouble for you. As you wish, Mr. Strahd. I will happily remove myself from your presence. <laughs> <laughs> He's really done it. He's gone. He just phased out of existence. I'm sorry, but as I said, there really is no room for negotiation here. What is that thing he has in his hands? Oh, a music disc. Oh. Some kind of metal disc. And you, go on, leave me alone. No, Mr. Strad, just pretend we aren't here. We shan't be offended in the slightest. Mrs. Hattasan can really stand her ground when she wants to. Whatever. Whatever. Do you want to look at my arm, man? Would you have a look at... Um, that's strange. Where's my arm man gone? <laughs> she pilfered it! What's the problem? Something wrong? Don't suppose... You're looking for this? Yes, but 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 how and and when and how again? I got a talent for it, haven't I? <laughs> what, what, what? That's boring on black magic. 
And it makes what I was about to say about my Iron Man seem a little dull. I'm a lawyer. So, what do you want to tell me about it then? Nothing. It's fine. Just give it back. Thank you. Hello, Gina. Somehow, I didn't really think you were the sort of person who'd use a pawn program, Mr. Stroud. Yeah, well, I am, all right. I'm a Londoner, just like everyone else. That a problem, is it? No, no, not at all. It's just that, well... Do I get it? I know what you're thinking. That thing probably don't even belong to her. Probably got it on the dive, didn't she? Yeah, I can see written all over your Chevy Chase. <laughs> well, I, I might be thinking something along those lines. You're not going to deny it, Mr. Naruto. All right, then I'm just... You just to, stole my arm, Ben. I'm just going to come out and ask you straight. Do you pawn things you steal from other people? Well, uh, I don't know best to answer that, really. Um, I suppose. Sometimes. You're not going to deny it either, <laughs> Mr. Strahd. But not this time, all right? I swear, that thing belongs to me. The disc that Mr. Winterbank is holding. Perhaps we should see what he has to say about all this. Oh, sure. Sure. Uh... Oh, quick. Let's examine. Let's just leave. Why? Well, not my problem. <laughs> what about that disc? Mr. Winnebank, what exactly is this metal disc that Mr. Strath has brought in? It seems to have hundreds of tiny little bumps on its surface. Well, this is a music disc, you see, for use inside a music box. In a music box? What? You don't even know what music box is? Tree East and Law ain't too savvy, eh? I know what a music box is, I've just never seen one of these discs before. Small protrusions on the metal disc encode the tune to be played by the music box. You simply insert the disc and set the machine going. Beautiful music plays. It's so incredible. Tell us, what tune is on this disc? Well, I'm afraid I couldn't tell you that. There are so many different types of music boxes to see. British made, German, Swiss. I have no way of knowing which particular machine this disc was made for. Oh, I see. And that's it in a nutshell. I wouldn't have any customers for an item like this, even if the young lady forfeited it. Really, I'm already offering more than I should at a penny. That's a packet of lies. He told me he did. He said it was, well... E. 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 Who's E? He? He who? No, E. The Markiplier mean. <laughs> no, he who. Never you mind, it just ain't right, that's all. The disc is the disc's worth good money, I know it is. Well, then you'll have to try your luck at another pawn progress, won't you? Nah. <laughs> How dare. So she a regular here? She's been in before, of course. This little tatadomalion, whatever that is. I see. And brought some dubious article or other with her every single time, I might add. Dubious, what are you trying to say? I'm an honest customer, me. <laughs> so, is there something dubious about the disc she brought in today? Well, if only it were that simple. Sorry, what do you mean? What she actually brought in was a storage ticket. Huh? Ah, a storage ticket, so... Mrs. Strahd has actually come to redeem an article from you today, is that right? Yeah, that's right. A girl like me has a lot of stuff what needs storing. Alright, yes, that's definitely dubious. The article in question would have been forfeited at, at midnight tonight. But as she gave me the ticket for it and repaid both the loan and interest, I was obliged to return the article to her. So what's the issue? Hmm, but what's the article? Do tell us, Mr. Winterbank. The little scamp is wearing it, ma'am, or the coat? Is the bag? The overcoat that she did. Yeah, she didn't have that before, I don't think. What? What's wrong with that? It fits, don't it? I mean, it's mine, so of course it does. Sure. So what about the disc then? How does that come into all of this? Ah, uh, the disc is something else. A new article to pawn if the girl and I can agree a price. Okay. You want to go to pawn? Oh, I'm confused. I thought you said that Mr. Strad brought in a storage ticket today. 
It's really quite simple. Yes, the child brought me a storage ticket and the money owed to it, or owed on it, as you say. For this heavy black coat, which you returned to her, her car, as I understood. That's right, yes. And rather unsurprisingly, as soon as this little ragamuffin put the thing on, she went rifling through the pockets. Oh, you mean... You were just seeing what, the, what it had. Those are some very deep pockets. Whoa! Don't, don't you know it's rude to stare at a lady? Ah, oh, I see. So it came from the pocket of the overcoat, did it? Did you just it, grab the thing? Oh, here's another from, thing. It came from outer space. If you mean the siskin, yes, exactly, ma'am. And she immediately tried to pawn it? For quite a high price as well. This is all rather suspicious, I think. Keep it out. I'm just trying to pawn something like anyone else would. Mr. Strud, may I ask who deposited the overcoat here in the first place? Uh, well, me. Doesn't really appear to be your size. Me old man! It's me old man's, ain't it? Is it, Miss Lestrade? Yes, this is definitely a rather suspicious. Does she have parents? <laughs> 